in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create this object if you want to learn how to create this object then link is given in the description now in this tutorial we will learn how to create 2d drawings from this 3d model to create 2d drawings from 3d model they have given view command here now here style are imperial but our this drawing is metric basically we created this drawing using autocad default template which is actually imperial therefore we will transfer this drawing to metric template and then we will create the 2d drawings so before that we will check what is the unit give un for units enter then ensure that insertion scale is millimeter length is decimal and angle is decimal degrees click on ok then we will close this drawing yes then we will start new drawing using metric template now here they have given different templates so we can use any one suppose we will use this ocad iso it is a normal international metric drawing template we will start drawing with this ocad iso dwt click on it then we will insert our model here for that give i enter then browse the model okay this is the model open now here i have removed this tick for specify on screen i will place it directly to 000, zero, zero and scale will be 1 angle is 0 and here it is showing block unit is millimeter that is what we required then we want to explore the block therefore we will tick here then ok then give zoom all z enter a enter so it will show the model then click here and select SI symmetric and we can shade it also we will make it shade with edges we can make these grids off now if you check here the styles are in metric that's what we want so it is correct now then before starting to do drawings we will set up sheet in layout click on layout one then right click on layout one now here is drafting standard setup click on it now we want to use projection type as third angle and you can choose here the thread style but these thread styles are only useful for inventor model for autocad model it is not useful so in our case it is of no use and click on ok then again right click on layout one then click on paste setup manager then click on modify then here we will choose this autocad pdf general documentation as a printer and from here we will choose iso a3 we will choose this landscape sheet of 420 by 297 size select it then we will keep scale as 1 as to 1 and sheet is landscape and click on ok and click on close so here a sheet is created then again click on model then click here on the view take your cursor on the base click there and click on this from model space then select 3d model enter now is asking for enter new or existing layout name to make current so here you can type the new name for the layout or you can use the existing one so we have made setup in layout one so we will use this layout one by default he has given the layout one as a paper space name so just press enter now it is shifted to layout one now here I want to place at first the front view now it has chosen the front view but I want front view from the right side of the model from here you can choose the desired view side 
I want to watch front view from the right side so I will click on this right then I want scale to be 1 as to 1 so click here 1 as to 1 and I will keep these hidden lines as it is then give the position for the view I will click here and press enter and take your cursor above specify point for top view then take your cursor on the left and specify point for left side view then take your cursor in inclined direction to give the location for isometric view in this way you can take your cursor in any direction and specify the views but I need only 4 views therefore I will press enter here it has created the views but I don't want hidden lines visible for isometric view just double click on it and from here choose visible lines and click on ok so only visible lines are visible now it has created three orthogonal views and one isometric view now while creating these views it creates layer also now we don't need this 3d interface so we will switch to 2d interface for that click here and select drafting and annotation so it will show only 2d toolbar atoms then if we click here you can see that it has created some layers starting with MD the meaning of MD is model documentation and it has given individual name to the layers if you want we can assign different colors to different objects for that click on this layer properties then for MD done suppose for hidden I want this color ok so here you can watch that a green color is applied to the hidden line same way for visible lines suppose I want this blue color ok so here it is shown in blue color plus it has assigned thickness also if you want to view the thickness to view the thickness click here on this button here show headline width if in your case this show headline width is not showing then you will have to click on these three lines button and select line width from here by clicking on it you can make it on or off that means it will be visible or invisible once you make it visible then just click on it so you can watch the thickness for the view so it has given the thickness also now here it has changed complete object into blue but some lines are remained as a black for that click on layer properties actually it creates two layer one is visible and one is visible narrow so for that visible narrow also we will need to change the color ok and actually for this visible I don't want the larger thickness I will reduce it to 0.35 ok and for this hidden also I will reduce the thickness suppose I want it 0.15 ok and close it and if you zoom it you can view the difference the hidden lines are thinner and outside lines are thicker and suppose I want to create one section view I don't want this side view but I want a section view just click on this view and press delete button on the keyboard then to create section view just click on this view then it will show this toolbar from this toolbar you can choose the type of section view you want to create suppose I want to create this offset section view click on it then zoom this front view track the center point take your cursor above give the starting point for the section line then make ortho on then give the second point then give the third point suppose I want section up to this and take your cursor below once you have defined all the points then press enter so it has created this view if you take it on the right side it will show section view from the right side 
and if you take on the left side it will show section view from the left side click and give position for section view and click on exit here it is showing the section view then its title just click on it click on this blue square grip take it below and click and press escape in this way this section view is created you can give color to this hatching lines also for hatching also it has created layer called hatching so for hatching also you can assign the color ok so here hatching is also visible in color then for this section line if you want to show internal line also then to make setting for this section line take your cursor on the view then click on this section view style from here you can define different parameters for section view then click on modify you can define text height color then you can define different style for text now we want to show this line this line will be this cutting plane and here is the option show cutting plane lines click on it so it will show the internal cut and play lines now this cutting plane line is continuous but i don't want this line to be continuous i want this line to be pantham to make it pantham click on this arrow click on other click on load click inside and press p for pantham then we will take a smaller one so we will take this pantham 2 ok select the pantham 2 ok and ok and close so it is showing the pantham line but still it is not showing here for that we need to change its LT scale to change the LT scale of this line take your cursor on the line double click on it and from here you can change the line type scale suppose I will make it 0.75 enter and escape so still it is not showing I will change it further and make it point for you and escape now it is showing it properly we will close this dialog box in this way you can add the different line in between the section points the next will be to add the center points to add the dimension detail view drawing sheet so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here.